Okay, so what we have here, this is just going to show you a typical example of how we're going to start. Now you have a bucket, you have a, um, 32 buckets that have holes on either side for the mortgage lifter. Now the reason they have holes on both sides is because these buckets are going to connect together and of course you have to have it so that they, the water is able to flow from bucket to bucket on either side. Now on the end of each circuit, and again we'll talk about this later in the video so don't stress about it too much right now, we have the end ones where the water goes in and connects on this side and then we also have it coming out of the side of the unit rather than the end. The reason being because that's the end of the grow tent, let's say in the back right corner, and you're not gonna have anything flowing out beyond that point. So the water's gonna come, let's say, through this circuit, and it's gonna flow down this way, and then into the next row, back in a serpentine pattern, and then ultimately into our controller. So right now, the main thing that we're gonna talk about is really how to connect these, uh, these units together, because it can be a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's not bad at all, it's quick, it's easy, and it makes an awesome watertight seal. Now, what you're gonna have are these, um, these small pieces that have a bell end on them. And by bell end, I mean that it's, it's flush at this point and then it blows out and stretches out. The reason we have this particular piece specially made is because we have these uh, rubber grommets here. And with these grommets, you can always take your thumb and press it in just to make sure that's a tight fit as far as inside. You can see when you pull this out that it actually has a lip on it. And then this is a, a nice clean cut on the inside here. And we're going to do all this for you before you get it, so you're not going to have to worry about it. But I'm just showing you in case you ever pop one of these grommets out. It pops in and you just take your finger and press it right around like that. Okay, so it's nice and in place. Now, the, the most basic thing to do to start with is um, grab a little bit of Vaseline. We're going to actually include one when you get your purchase. Um, that way you make sure to, to make this easier for you. If you try to drink, jam this in without putting Vaseline on it, you're going to have a really hard time and you're going to be very stressed out. Make life easy for you. Take just a little bit of Vaseline, not a lot, and put it right around the end, okay? When we put it around the end, it's going to slide in. We're going to put a little bit on the actual grommet itself. Now when I take this and start to slide it in, instead of it being an impossible fit, it slides right in, and you can see here's the bell. Okay, so we've got the thinner portion and then the bell portion. And when we get to the bell portion, we're going to push it a little harder. And you can see on the inside, I'm putting my hand like this and I'm holding it. So that way this rubber grommet doesn't pop out. I'm not just jamming it. I'm actually kind of holding it and slowly pressing it in. Okay, again, this is really key with the Vaseline because if you try to do it without it, you're going to have a problem. Now at this point, you can see that the bell is actually stretching the grommet and is making a very tight seal so that you don't have any water leaks. If we didn't do that, you'd never be able, if we just tried to put a PVC piece in here that was this size, you'd never get it in. And if we did it with this size, it would leak terribly. Okay, so you gotta actually stretch it in like so. Um, so we're gonna do that for all four sides, okay, which again, you can do that on your own, it's quick and easy. Now the next step is, we have two pieces, uh, we have PVC pipe that's actually two sizes. We have a longer side and a smaller size. And the longer size is for the bottom, okay? And the reason being is because when these buckets are sitting uh, flush on the ground, the longer piece is going to connect between the two bell ends down here, and the shorter piece is going to connect at the top. And the reason for that is if we had a shorter piece at the bottom, it would pull these in, and they wouldn't sit flush on the ground. And if we had a longer piece on top, then it would be too far separated. We want them uh, relatively close so we can get as many plants in the cabinet as possible. Uh, in the mortgage lifter grow box. Now you can see on these, and I'm sure you're wondering what this is. This is actually Teflon tape, okay? And the reason we use Teflon tape instead of uh, a whole lot of other surfaces, uh, substances is because the Teflon tape makes a watertight seal um, and uh, it still allows you to connect and disconnect it. Now the, um, the point with that is if we were to take and um, actually glue these pieces, which we tried this too. We tried it a bunch of different ways. If you actually PVC glue or caulk and seal these things together, you're never gonna be able to slide it in on both sides at the same time. You're gonna be able to get it on, on one side, but the other side you'll have too much of a, of a time with. It's really, really hard. So you have to have both these bell ends in there, and then you have to connect a piece of, uh, this longer piece of PVC on the bottom by putting it into both bell ends. That's an extremely important point. Don't try to do anything yourself. Follow these directions exactly so you make life easy on yourself instead of having it be difficult. And if you follow these directions, it is really, really easy. Now the first thing that you'll need to actually put the Teflon on are these scissors. 
Now when we get them, we're going to actually put Teflon on these ahead of time to make life easy for you. But if you screw something up and you knock the Teflon off, like let's say that I go and, you know, I try to put one in and for some reason I screw it up or it peels off and you go, oh my God, what do I do? Well, that's what we're going to take a minute here and show you. You can see that this stuff crumbles right up and it, it can, you know, it can have a tough time if, you're, if you don't know what you're doing. So the first thing we need is scissors and we need Teflon tape. The Teflon tape you can get at the store for about 99 cents, but we're going to include one with it just for good measure. When you put the Teflon tape on, now the first thing that I'm doing is I'm holding it with a finger, okay, to make sure that it, it doesn't just go loose and, and go everywhere. I hold it with a finger and you can see that I'm actually overlapping over the edge. Now that's kind of an important point because if you don't overlap it on the edge, it's going to pop off when you try to push it into the belt. Okay, and I'm there, there's the starting point and I'm doing one more loop. I'm doing two full loops, okay, all the way around. And then when I get done, I don't try to rip it off because if you try to rip it, you're going to have all kinds of problems. I just cut it, okay? Just make it easy and cut it. If you try to rip it, you're going to make a mess. You're going to have all kinds of problems. So you just push it flush, take this part here and roll it inside. Problem solved, okay? That's perfectly ready to go. That's all you need to do. It doesn't have to be complicated. So now, here we have... Uh, we have our grommet in here. Let's put the next one in just so I can show you at least doing one full side. Again, I'm going to take Vaseline, rub it around the base of it, rub it around the bottom. Hold uh, the rubber grommet a little bit with my hand so it makes a nice tight seal. And press it right into the bell. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take the smaller one and push it into the top. You can see where the Teflon locks in. And I'm going to press it in with the butt of my hand. Makes a nice tight seal. Beautiful. We're good. Next one I'm going to do is take one of the longer pieces. Again, you've got the shorter pieces and longer pieces. So this should be a slam dunk. It's very easy. Longer pieces for the bottom, shorter pieces for the top. Take that longer piece, press it in flush. Now you're good. Now you have one side. You're going to do that for the other side here. And you're going to do that for each bucket as you go down the circuit, which again we'll talk about later as far as the full layout. So now the next thing we're going to do is take two more bells. Again, same thing with the Vaseline. You can see how quick and easy this goes together. It does not need to be a complicated process as long as you follow the directions. If you don't follow the directions and you try to do other stuff, you're going to have a hard time. So that bell snaps right in. If it goes too far, let's just say you accidentally push it too far in and you go, oh no, what do I do? Just put it right back through. That's all. Okay, it's not the end of the world. It just pops right back in. All right? There you go. About, about that much over on the, on the left. All right, we'll do, take the next one here and Vaseline together. So I can show you two of them connecting together. Again, this is basically the same process over and over again, so we're not going to do it for each one. But it gives you an idea of, of how to make everything work. Okay, now you can see in this case here what I did, I pushed too fast and I popped the rubber grommet off the lip. Okay, so what I have to do is push this right through. I'm going to fix that rubber grommet. I'm going to pop it through again, again being very careful to hold it with the back of my hand. And there we go, perfect. Now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to take these two buckets and we're going to press them together. That's very easy, all you do is basically take and start to line them up. Start gently at the top by squeezing these with your hands inside. Same thing with the bottom, you're just going to start pressing them together. There you go. Now your buckets are completely sealed together. Okay? These buckets are perfectly sealed and water is going to flow between them and you'll have no leaks. And that way, the reason we connect all these buckets together instead of having separate buckets is you'd have to fill and drain each bucket separately if they weren't connected, which is a major problem. This way you can, you can fill up one bucket and it fills up 35 or 60 or 90 buckets in the circuit, as many as you want, because they're all connected in the bottom. Okay, and because this connection is very low, when you go to drain it, you drain it by putting a water pump in one of them and it sucks all the water out and it's going to suck the water out of all the other uh, ones in the circuit down to about a half inch of water at the bottom, which is fine. You don't have to do 100% drain every time you drain it to do a water change, but it at least gets you 95% of your water out and it makes it quick and easy by doing it with one site instead of having to try to do it for 35 or 40 or 50 individual sites. So that's extremely critical and that's why we spend so much time and effort to try to connect these units together. And that's Now here's uh, how we're going to set up the tubing. This one here is uh, partially set up. 
What we have at the end of this here is actually a uh, special air bubbler that never clogs. And it's pressure compensating, which means no matter how much air pressure you put through it, it's going to bubble at the same level. Now that's really important so we don't have one site that's bubbling at a high rate and the next site that's bubbling at a low rate. It keeps everything nice and equal and it never needs replacing, unlike the blue or black air stones that you normally see. So you're normally going to have a piece of tubing that uh, is connected to this air stone and again is going to uh, connect to the barbed T on the underside of this driplet. So at the top here you can see that barbed T. Now I can't pull it out because I got the tubing connected on the other side, but that snaps right in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that tubing and we're going to go down. We got another piece of tubing that's shorter that's going to connect to the next unit in the circuit. And the way that works is we take our T, we press it right on. It's just a pressure fit and it snaps right in. That's it. Okay. And now these two sites are connected. And again, this is going to have, we're going to have a longer piece of tubing that we'll probably go ahead and just put this air stone on for good measure so it's easier for you. And that's going to connect on the bottom like so. We'll take uh, this tube here and we're going to press it right onto that barb portion. Snaps right in. That tube sits right in the water. These are net pots that we'll talk about in a minute. But for right now, that is the start of our, um, our air tubing system. Now again, these aren't all pressed down tight and locked in. It's just to show you how we're going to get started. Now the other thing I want to mention is on the outside unit, um, when we're talking uh, about the one that's going to be on the, the outside corner, um, you don't actually have a stopper. You still have the same uh, three-way piece. And what you do is you take a longer piece of tubing and you connect it from one to the next one in the next row. Um, now again, you can take this and uh, we're probably going to have a, a longer row of tubing for this stuff. So that way you can set it up and cut it to length and have it ideally where you want. But basically that's going to start for the next row. It's going to go this way and then ultimately back. Um, for the air pump, what we're going to do is at certain points throughout the circuit, which we'll talk about in a minute, we're going to take and we're going to cut the tubing and put in another three-way barb T and we're going to connect the air lines into certain points on each row. We have uh, four rows with the mortgage lifter, about 39 plant sites, and um, that's how we're going to basically get air to each one. Again, the air pressure is going to be in this line and it doesn't matter how many times we tap off it because each one's got that pressure compensating fitting. So no matter how much air pressure we put in, it's going to be about the same, uh, same amount for the output, which is exactly where we want it at. So that way you don't have to worry about changing that or having a problem down the road. Now here's an example of two connected buckets together just so you can see how everything works. Now again we have the bell on one end where the, um, the thinner side is over here and the thicker bell is on this side which is pressing against the grommet and making a good seal internally. You can see that there's a tube connecting the two units in between. That's the smaller PVC pipe. Um, the longer PVC pipe is used at the bottom. The reason being that way because the buckets are uh, closer together at the top and farther apart on the bottom, it allows for the buckets to sit flat on the ground and be perfectly even. So there is a reason why the top PVC piece is smaller and the bottom PVC is larger, again, just to compensate for that. Now you can see that there's grommets again on both sides, top and bottom. The bottom one uh, will be for the water pump. Um, there's actually going to be holes on the other side when it's set up in your system and the bottom one is going to allow the water pump water to pass through. This top one is just an emergency overflow so that way if for some reason that bottom tube clogs with roots or for whatever reason this top one will allow water to balance out between the circuits um, so that way there's no problem. Now you can see on this unit here that there's this is sitting on cardboard and there's no water on the ground it's making a perfect seal. Now with these, uh, with these pieces here, again, they have the Teflon tape that we showed in the previous video. And uh, again, this is just showing that it's holding water and everything's working well. When your system's set up, it should look uh, just like this in terms of, you know, being uh, watertight and sealed.